각국의 요구사항을 충족하는 맞춤형 자주포를 개발. 사막에서 사원까지 다양한 작전 환경에서 운용이 입증되어 국내를 넘어 After announcing in September 2020 Hanfar Defence Australia as the winner of the protected mobile fires, Land 8116 Phase 3 Programme, Tender. On December 13 yesterday, the Australian Department of Defence officially signed a US$1 billion United States dollars contract for the procurement of 30 units AS-9 Huntsman Howitzers, and 15 units AS-10 Armoured Ammunition Resupply Vehicle, AARV. The AS-90 Huntsman Howitzer is nothing but a variant of the K-9 Thunder self-tracked propelled Howitzer, SPH, while the AS-10 is a chain-wheel armored vehicle carrying ammunition from the base K-10. As a form of technology transfer and investment in Australia, all of these vehicles will be produced in Australia, namely in the Geelong region. With Australia's Hanfar Defence Production Facility ready, the production phase will begin in 2022 and orders will be completed by 2024. With production starting, at least 350 new jobs will be created. The AS-9 Huntsman SPH is a 50-ton platform carrying a 52-155 of a millimeter howitzer. This combat vehicle in one go can carry 48 rounds of ammunition while the AS-10 AARV can accommodate 104 rounds of 155mm ammunition. It can be said that the K-9 Thunder is one of the most successful, heavy, weapons products from South Korea in the global market. Why not, this self-tracked propelled howitzer, SPH, is considered to be in demand by several large countries that have a world-class military reputation. The K-9 Thunder variant has been acquired by Estonia, Finland, Norway, India, Poland and Turkey. Because it was purchased by major countries that are strong in the production line of defense equipment, several K-9 Thunder have been created with customization, according to user needs and of course there is a demand to produce K-9 Thunder in the buyer's country. Hanfar Defence has also announced the start of talks with the UK Ministry of Defence to supply the K-9 to UK. To be precise, South Korea want to participate in the Mobile Fires Platform Programme, which is being prepared to replace the AS-90 Braveheart self-propelled howitzer. 